Hello from not so sunny North Tyrone today. I'm going to show you how to build a Husqvarna 120 Mark II chainsaw. These chainsaws are shipped in these little rectangular boxes. So when you do get them, come like this here. chain and the bar on them yourself that's the downside but I'm going to show you how to do it what comes is the body of the chainsaw engine and all um, engine is very useful in the chainsaw but then it's Husqvarna bar Husqvarna guard this little guy which is the spike it goes on there behind the bar and it stops you when you ram her into wood it stops this part of the chainsaw getting rammed onto the wood and damaged so it's important chain a couple of screws to hold this little guy on so first thing you do is slacken these two nuts Remember, folks, lefty goosey, ready tidy. <coughs> Not a left hand thread, like the good doctor. A right hand thread. So, left screws it off. So, take those off. Right, and this is a crucial part of the assembly here. Before you remove this cover, I'm going to show you a wee diagram here. There's a little symbol there. You can't really see it there, does there? Forward brake or forward release, back brake, pull back to reset. That's the chain brake. So the chain brake's off, and you want to make sure that this is pulled back before you lift this off. Because if you do happen to lift this off, it'll be hard to get it off. But if you do get it off, it'll be very difficult to get it back on. But I'll explain later what you do if that happens. So once you get the cover off, once you remove this cover, there's a thing here that says remove. So it's self-explanatory, you remove that. That's irrelevant now, you don't need that ever again in your career. It's a little bit windy here in North Road. Anyway, the next thing you do is put this. So you put that on with the two screws that I showed earlier. These screws can be quite tight and they're hard to screw in, especially with the, the chainsaw plug spanner screwdriver that they give you. You really have to work hard to get them on. I'm going to pause the video and screw them on. Right, those are tightened now. They give you this screwdriver to tighten this, which I don't think is adequate. I think you'd be better off with a T20 torque. If you have a T20 torque screwdriver, use that. It makes it easier. Now you've done that. It's time to go for the chain and bar bar and the chain. This model of saw takes a 52 length chain. So a 14 inch bar. So right. You'd want to have the chain head in this way. Let's see if we get this camera to focus. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that properly. That's the way you want them heading anyway. Like that. That's the way we're going to put the chain on. Just like that. So, put it right there. I don't know if you can see. But there's a little, little cog gear behind this 
brake. Let's set something there. This can be a fiddly part of the job, but it's not too difficult. And I hope this, this video will be used to, useful to you out there when you buy your Husqvarna 120 from an online retailer that allows you to this little triangular box. And you think, what do I do with that now? Hopefully, this will solve that problem for you. Alright, I just get this into the groove. Make sure it's sitting around the clog at the back. Getting somewhere now. There we are now. Right. So that's it all sitting into the groove. You can see what way that's going. That sharp barb there is going this way. The flow of the chain will be this way. Round the cat. So that's the cutting edge. So you want it something like that. It's sitting on round a cog that's on behind this this brake and sitting into the groove all the way around so when you have it like that you put back on the cover you took off previously and the chain brake off if you haven't put the chain brake off what you do is if you've managed to pull that off with the chain brake in the on position, you'll not get it back on. But there's this here in your plug spanner, a notch that sits in. You can turn it back to the correct position and then fit it again. So that's what this is for. Anyway, we haven't done that, so it should be easy. So we just set this straight back on. And you see it doesn't lie down properly. And that is because there is a hole there and this little thing goes onto it, this thing here. So in order to line them up there's a screw there, you adjust that forward and back. So that has to go back a bit, I would guess. You could be very lucky and it could get into the right position but it's not it has to go back a little bit in order to do this you screw this screw it's very hard to do this to the camera but I'll do my best screw this back and that'll adjust that screw back there that screw has been adjusted back and it's just gone into the hole there now and once you do that, once you get that into the hole put on your two nuts to hold it in position and then check your chain for tightness that chain's loose so in order to that, do that I can show you a better way there's the screw there's the screw. Where do that? You screw that in a clockwise position to tighten the chain and anti clockwise to slacken it. So that's starting to get very tight there. You need sort of that there, not just you have to be able to have that wee bit of left. What I notice with these, once you've tightened that, it'll tighten up a little bit more when you tighten these. So you tighten them. Up now. Right. 
and you have a good tight chain there and it's running freely so I put the brake on it stops the chain so And that is how you assemble the Husqvarna 120 Mark II saw that you get in a little triangular box. So if you find this video helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel to enable me to make more videos and help people out there. Thank you very much.